Hello everyone, this is Satish here. Today we'll discuss about the Apache Camel. So for this, I'm into the official website of the Apache Camel, which says like a Camel is an open source integration framework that empowers you to quickly and easily integrate various systems consuming or producing data. So from the word integration, we get the idea that it helps in uh, interacting one application data with the other application data, uh, which may be running on the same machine or different machine, uh, but it is acting as a glue in between this application and helps them interact with each other. And why Camel? It's based on the enterprise integration pattern. So behind the scene, what Camel uses the concept of the routing. So using routing, uh, like Camel uh, allows you to define your own routing rules and decide from which source to accept the message, to process them and send to the destination. So Camels are configured using a combination of the enterprise integration pattern and, com and Camel offers the interface for this all this enterprise integration pattern. Okay, so run everywhere like uh, we can run this in it's a very lightweight library. We can run it on our application. So for this, I'll be using a Spring Boot application to see how we can integrate that and package with components. So there are multiple components. We can use those component for our use. So like a database or messaging queue. So I'll be using the file component to move the file from one folder to the next folder. So yeah, this is the component I'll be using. And this is the uh, a post which I referred for moving the file from one folder to the next folder. And there are multiple enterprise integration patterns. So it helps in understanding what is enterprise integration patterns. And it also helps in understanding Camel a bit more because Camel behind the scene Camel uses like the, it gives an interface for all the enterprise integration pattern. And lastly, I referred this post from the Stack Overflow. That's a very, uh, like the, all the people have written very nicely the answers. Like it helps understand what is Camel. So I will attach all these links in the description of the video. So with that, I'll move back to my uh, IntelliJ discuss like the camel is an integration framework so uh, it has been interacting one application to the other application so this is the image which i have and in the pom.xml i have uh, basically the version of the spring Boot is mentioned here and then i have the camel version at 3.7.0 which i'll be using in this example and the example number which one which i'll be discussing here and then uh, the main file uh, we don't have any code here as such and then in the sorry in the uh, move file this is the this is a file which of type component and here we have a route defined here so we says that in this route uh, i'll be reading it from this folder uh, this location and sending the file to this location and we have set the parameters as and loop equal to true so this basically keeps the file in the source folder and the dis and move it to the destination folder it will not delete the file from this folder we, we will remove this parameter and see how, how the behavior is getting changed which we'll see in the example and we have other examples as well i will discuss them as well okay so with that i will quickly go and run this application and uh, yeah so i mean this is this is the folder basically so if i do pwd you will get to know so user abc desktop camel example is the folder and the same which we have referred here user abc camel example and uh, if we do ls uh, we don't have any fo any folder here as such but when the application will run uh, it has not started yet Okay, so the application is started running right now and it has created some routes here so for the other example but for our example also the route has been created uh, which is this route uh, which you can see from the console the input route and uh, if i go and look into the folder now you'll see a folder is created ls let's go inside the folder input and see is there any file there is no file as such here like uh, let's create a file like i'll do so you can see uh, if I do ls, uh, the file is present here as well. And if I uh, go back, because we have one more folder will be created, which is the output folder. And if I go inside the output folder, and if I do, you will have the file as well here. So in, in, if I go back here and show you that. So we have this uh, camel example folder and in this we have the input folder and the output folder both of them are present okay and the input has the file and output has the file as well okay so this is with the envelope and if i go and remove this and see what will be the behavior let's rerun this and i will also go and delete this to folder as well 
so we'll have a fresh example and i will be cd desktop slash uh, camel example we don't have any folder here as of now present when the application will run it will create a folder name input folder and when we move a file when we add a file inside this it will basically create an output folder and move that to file to the output folder and it will remove that file from the input folder as well so this is application is started now let's see we have the input folder let's go inside that and create a file touch uh, test.txt so i'll do ls you, you see the file is not present inside the input folder let's move out and do ls here we have the output folder let's go inside the output folder do ls we can have the output folder we have the test.txt is present in the output folder so this time uh, when we remove the nloop equal to true it basically removes from the input folder and add it to the destination which is our output folder so that's uh, yeah this is the example using uh, one of the examples so i'll comment it out and show you the other examples as well so let's see this example okay we quickly go and rerun this so this time oh, what will happen here is that we we have not mentioned the path here so what happens here uh, we have to give the folder name here folder name is a uh, mandatory if you don't give it will give an, ex uh, an error so what happens the destination is not been defined here at which position we want to create the folder so it will create the folder in the current directory only so in the camel uh, download slash camel is the current directory where i am so it will create a folder inside this camel okay so when it will run it will create that folder uh, i'll show you that okay so the application is up and running so let me go and refresh this uh, sorry so you can see the input folder has been created so if i go and add a file inside the input folder let's do that okay so this has been added let's go and refresh this you see the output folder is also created here this time so this time uh, uh, if you if you go and look at this configuration here like i'm reading from a file uh, the input folder and sending it to the output folder i have not provided any, any parameter here so in this case what camel is doing basically camel is creating a folder uh, this is the camel property camel is creating a folder dot camel and adding the file inside that but in the previous example where we have not mentioned the unloop it basically it didn't create any dot camel file for us so this is about the camel if you provide the path it will do if you don't provide the part it will automatically creates a dot camel file uh, dot camel folder inside your input folder and move that file inside that so this is uh, the example and uh, we can also go and uh, use the same example so this example will basically uh, will not remove the file from the input folder and it will add the file into the output folder as well so this in this case the file will be present in both the folders and the third example is basically if you want to delete so in this example the dot, dot camel has been created if you if you don't want to create that we can basically provide this parameter here it will delete the folder from the input table and send it to the output folder so let's see this example so second example is exactly similar what we have seen in this so let me go and rerun oh, before that let me also go and delete this folder so yeah so these two are deleted let's go and rerun this Okay so, the okay so the application is up and running let me go and refresh this uh, reload from disk so input folder has been created let's create a file inside that uh, test.txt so as you can see the file the file has been created here let me go and refresh this reload from disk 
okay so the file has been uh, deleted from in this in this location and it's been added to the test.txt so this is the delete parameter which helps in do that so there are many more parameters here which we can go and use them so this is a very basic example which i wanted to talk and uh, regarding what camel is all about how we can define a route here so this is our route and using the file component i am reading the file from this location and sending it to the output location using multiple parameters here like and loop true deleted true and if i don't provide the parameter we will have a different uh, different use case as well so this is the example which i wanted to talk so i hope this will be helpful so i have mul uh, multiple other examples as well so i'll be discussing them in a different video so i hope to understand the basic about the example this will help and uh, thanks for watching and have a great day bye